Dear Diary. So now it's、uh, Wednesday, March eighth, and it's nine fifty-six p.m. And it's eleven degrees outside. And、um, thankfully, today's awakening was a bit nice. You know, it was just a bit average. Not too bad, but also not too good, you know. Like, thankfully, I did not get any bullshit out of the internet, but a little bit of decent ones, I guess. Um. So right now, our first lecture is considered to be canceled because apparently, the teacher has like. Kicked everyone from the from the lecture and literally cancelled it because apparently he was、um, quite agitated and pissed about something to the point where he literally got pissed at the at the security guy <clears throat> and、um, and apparently.、Um, There's been something that's been really pissing him off, so he literally just took the liberty to cancel that for now, which is a little bit weird, to be honest. But then again, I mean that's a pretty good point because I get to relax. Although I was late, as usual, so、um, there's no surprise that I'm. There's no surprise about being late, because、um, apparently I'm waking up at quite a stupid time, where、uh, where I would be awake and then take myself quite a long time to eat my breakfast, and、uh, then of course a bit more longer time while trying to get the right transportation that would get me straight to the university. Because you know,、um, it's Egypt, I guess. I mean, nothing's new.、Uh, and I did、uh, spend quite a little bit listening to some cool, good old Nintendo songs, other than the MSX and the SCC and whatsoever. And.、Um, Although there has been some really bullshit instances where you literally need to,、um, where I literally have been keeping on、um, being reminded again, especially of you know who, because honestly I'm not going to bring out any other shits and stuff. Holy shit! There's a sleeping dog over there. Guess I'm gonna have to find another area to sit down in. Anyways, so、uh, and I'm gonna be truly honest. I mean, these memories just gotta be gone, as well as those flashbacks and you know the freaking what if scenarios in my head. Like, there is no such thing as literally a real what. If situation, because I can't go back in time, and I don't want to go back in time to that goddamn moment. To be honest, especially to the point where I literally,、um, where I literally get fucked up. It would be like getting fucked up twice, you know. And it's just so fucking wrong. Feels wrong and looks wrong. Everything's wrong about it. <sighs> But on a bit of a plus side, I guess there isn't. But on a bit of a plus side, I was able to, you know, to wake up on a pretty decent way and reach the college on a pretty decent way. And I'm late again, but the lecture was canceled. So that's I guess something pretty decent to happen on a on an average college day. And、um, yeah, it's a pretty good plus point. 
and hopefully it continues on. And on another side, I have been going a little bit into going back into other older Nintendo games that I used to play and others that I would pretty much try out at, um, at the near future. Especially most of the other older games. And maybe more and more versions of the same game. Whether it's NES version and based upon the virtual console or SNES games that are again based upon the virtual console releases. Sometimes these virtual console releases are weird, but I guess they do mark something pretty nice. I guess. So, uh, I guess things are a bit decent for the time being. And hopefully, it continues to be like that. Those are the rest of the day. Um, uh, basically... And, um... And the weather is fairly nice. You know, the sun is up for a while. Uh, mixed with a little bit of a breeze that keeps on happening. I don't think there's nothing... I don't think there's anything much to talk about other than the decency and the, and the good stuff that happened today. And, um... Hopefully, it continues to be decent and good like that. Because, um, I guess that's pretty nice. Meanwhile, on another note, there has been, there has, still has been some note, some thoughts about quitting social media. Again. And I always just keep on prolonging that. Which is, which is, I know, which is what I know of is gonna be uh, the reason why I'm gonna get fucked up at some time later, sooner or later, by one of the people on the goddamn internet. And of course, all of these goddamn regrets and all of these, uh, you know. More regret and more regretful sauce. Cause let's be real, I've got nothing but regrets. Like, as a matter of fact, I regret even like looking into the goddamn social media in the first place. Cause if that's uh, social media, then holy shit, <laughs> we literally just gotta go in there as just a bunch of guests who literally don't comment or message or even do anything you're just gonna you know just watch the videos just watch the post or just uh take some goddamn info from anyone else like seriously is this like if that's how the social media works then holy fuck no wonder <sighs> No wonder people really have quit it really early. And honestly, like honestly, um, the amount of bullshit that happens on uh, social media is just uncanny and really unfair. Because then again, What's even the point if literally it's all gonna be on the same shitty page? But then again, there is no surprise about most of this, really. Because after all, this is what our society is on to now, you know? Our society is on to tricking. Manipulating, killing, 
cyberbullying, uh, making people feel like absolute trash, um, literally giving them uh, tons of fucking diseases in real life, and making sure that they don't get back up or improve, you know, they're gonna stay put as the trash as you are, and all of these stupid ass philosophies. And once again, I'm not surprised that most people have used this on me, because, like, why the hell would they bother to believe? Or would they, or why the hell, or why the hell would they bother to listen? Like, I'm literally, I'm literally deemed as a fucking pedophile, you know? Some things that I did not want to be involved in, or be part of, or to have any kind of relation or contact with in the first place, you know? Like, I became what I have swore to destroy in my whole life. And, um, and just, let's be real, if this is how it's gonna work, then legit, no wonder, I fucking hate everything and everyone. In fact, no wonder I hate them. Basically, I no wonder that I fucking hate the Americans. I mean, I literally fought for them. I literally have fucked up most of my college, most of my educational, or let's not let's not lie over here. I literally fucked up like ninety-five percent of my goddamn college like no 98 percent literally literally 98 percent of my college life have been fucked up along with my money and my effort and my nights and my energy my mental energy i have wasted all for them i even make myself look terrible in the house just for the just for the americans and this is what I what I'm literally being given. Like literally. I have even betrayed my own religion, my own country, my own people. And that's what I get. Being betrayed by the ones that I've been betraying my, my goddamn origins for. Like seriously, no wonder I am feeling so disgusted. Honestly. Like, I can't believe that I have literally blew, like, what's in front of me and what's behind of me just to literally get fucked up in the ass a few years later. And let's be real, three or four years on the goddamn internet is way more than enough to tell me what the hell our people are on to nowadays. And honestly, I don't care. If anyone says, not everyone is the same, not everyone is a dickhead, not everyone is a yeah, 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 I, I literally got this a lot, whether in real life or online, and yet it's always the fucking same, where no one has ever appreciated the smallest thing that I have ever done for them. Or even the smallest of the good times that I have ever had with them. Again, whether it's online or real life. So, um, I'm not fucking surprised here. And, of course, lots of you will literally say, Why are you here if you hate us? Why are you still alive? Why are you literally making this kind of thing if you literally hate the Americans and social media and whatsoever. Why are you still on this platform making diaries? Let's just say um, there are very few things, very few and mostly small things and some very few people are the reason why I'm here. But honestly, I have been keeping on thinking of quitting, like very, very much, but I just can't, like I just can't get myself to do it, but someday I'm gonna have to, 
and it's possibly by the hard way. Because I know, because I know that people aren't gonna be patient, or gonna even um, let me do this by myself. Like they're just gonna be that one guy or one thing that's gonna completely destroy you. And because of that, you are literally endangered. And because of that endangerment, you're gonna have to leave. And boom. You won't even have any time to sing or to say goodbye or any of that. Like I'm telling you, social media is a fucking disease. And the worst goddamn gambling that you could ever and you could ever get into. And like, as a matter of fact, like as a matter of fact, the time, the money, the energy, especially the, my mental energy, and my nights, my hours, everything that I have fucking wasted, well, I know that it, I know for a fucking ass fact that will never be repaid. Like, what I have will never be repaid. What I have wasted during my whole goddamn time in here, or on Twitter, or on Discord, will literally never be repaid. Thanks to this kind of bullshit. Because... This is literally... I literally can't be repaid anymore. And, um, I'm gonna be real. I wanna be repaid for, for all of this wasted bullshit that I have ever wasted at some point. But I, but again, for a matter of fact, I will never be repaid. There is no such thing as a payment for stuff like that. Or even to be compensated. And, um... It's like the world is literally telling you, well, fuck you, you're not getting any compensation or any payment, so fuck off, go kill yourself, and die. And just like Angry Video, Angry Video Game Nerd has once said, if your friends are dead, your mom is a whore, your dog is, fuck, is fucking hanging off, off a fucking cliff, your life sucks, everyone hates you, you are the clown, deal with it. Game over. And other stuff like that along the, along those goddamn lines. But you get what I mean, right? This is literally what the world is trying is telling you. You know, basically, you should just kill yourself. Like this is literally what the fucking world is telling you nowadays. And I just had enough. Like honestly, I wanted to kill myself from a very long time ago. Ever since I've got this kind of bullshit on, on my goddamn server. Of course, and of course, the people to just keep coming on to me, and all of the fucking diseases that I have got, thanks to all of that. I know for a matter of fact, again, that I will never be repaid for it, at all. Not, not even in real life. I'm gonna be repaid for all of that. So I just do whatever I can to forget and to move on. Like I really want to move on. I really want to just pass on with my goddamn life. Move along and literally just erase those fucking memories off my head. And erase those goddamn what if scenarios from my goddamn head. Like no one fucking understands the fucking suffering that I'm going through mentally because of this. Like this is a pain. That I will never be repaid for. And so, to end this, like basically, here's another here's another thing to learn from this. No matter what you're gonna do, no matter what you're gonna try to do, or what you're trying, what you're doing, or anything, no matter where you go. The bullshit of the social media is gonna follow you everywhere. So you just gotta quit it whenever you can. Or... I mean, 
Oh, you know, you know what? I'm not gonna even bother giving advices because I never even bothered to follow anyone's advices or even bothered to hear or listen to the advices and whatsoever or even take it into content or whatsoever. I mean, come on, I almost lost an I almost lost another goddamn friend like uh, on last Friday. Literally, I almost lost a goddamn good friend. So what the hell makes me think makes uh, makes me think that anyone is gonna follow my goddamn advices? <laughs> like I am any good at following advices? <laughs> yeah, madness be very good. Huh? So, but for real, the real lessons that I've learned is that you don't even bother. Alright, that's the simplest thing, and yet very, very hard lesson to take in heart, where you just don't bother. You literally don't bother. You literally don't bother with anything. You know, you just ignore it, leave it, remove it from your memory, and um, just move on with your life. Simple as that. Because if you start getting into it, you have no idea how fucked up you will ever get. <laughs> and this is where I'm gonna end it. And again, hopefully, the rest of the day goes decent. And I don't get any more bullshit. That's it.